Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is the Indie Game of the Week, Always Sometimes Monsters. Always Sometimes Monsters is an adult RPG, guys, with an extreme focus on narrative. So I'm going to put a warning out there right now and let you know that there's going to be lots of reading in this video. Also, there will probably be some foul language. So if you have a problem with that type of thing, you may want to turn away now. Now, it releases May 21st, 2014, and it was developed by Vagabond Dog and published by Devolver Digital. You can go ahead and pre-order Always Sometimes Monsters on their website or on Steam for the current 10% off price of $8.99, and I really think you should. Now, this isn't your stereotypical RPG, guys. This game isn't about fairies or saving the world, the princess, and defeating the big bad boss or any of that shit, all right? It's dirty, it's real, and it has just this real gritty nature to the entire game, but it also still manages to be kind of fun. And I have to say, I love it. In the game, you play a guy or a girl who's basically out on their luck after having some sort of bad deal go, I guess you could say, and they want to fix their life. Uh, you have about 30 days to do it, and you have little to no cash, and you're being evicted from your apartment. There is a heavy focus on moral decisions in this game, guys. Basically, what you will do to get what you want. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer, just the decisions that you make to get to the end and see what happens, basically. Um, graphically, some there will be people that compare this game to other RPGs of its like and its nature, to the moon being one an example, but that's basically where the similarities end. The, this game made me laugh, shock, disgusted within an hour of gameplay, if that tells you anything. So let's get to it, guys. Uh, let's, let's start a new game here. I'm going to probably bounce back between the new game and then my continue here. Um, and like I said, this game's going to have a lot of reading to it, so... Stop! Wait! I changed my mind! Please, just hold on a minute! I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, the deal's done. No returns. Don't tell me you didn't want this. Bitch. I know, but I changed my mind. Be reasonable, we can work something out. Nobody needs to die today. You don't get to choose what happens anymore. You check that privilege at the door. Here I make the rules and here I decide what happens. That's what you brought me in for, right? Come on, let's talk about this. Right now, what you guys are looking at right here, this is kind of like an intro to the entire game. Um, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here in a second. This is a mistake! And the, uh, right away the game, the shit gets real, I, I have to say, in this game, and I enjoy that quite a bit. Excuse me, sir, got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. Smelly vagabond fuck! Get the, get the hell out of my way! I don't have anything for you! Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Huh, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Hmm? Goddamn, Shizo, are you fucked up in the head? Get the fuck out of my way! Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. I think I'll, I think it'll catch your attention for sure. What is jerk I was doing? Um, grumble, grumble. Oh, it's a gun! <laughs> I've held on to this for a very long time. You might say I've been expecting you. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Shit just got real. Mexican standoff. Does it look familiar? Perhaps you've never seen this end of it. Go ahead, take your take yours out. They always meant to see each other. How the hell did you get that? That doesn't belong to you. Oh, I deserve to die for what I've done. There's no doubt about that. The question is whether or not you're the one who grants my wish. So go ahead and point that barrel between my eyes. I'll shoot her if you don't. Are you fucking crazy? What the hell do you want? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say you give mine a spin? I don't know what you're smoking, pal, but if you get, oh, put down that gun right now, you're toast. Oh, of course, like it matters anyways. You can hurry this along if you like. I'm going to tell you my story, though. A story about the many choices we all make. At the end, at the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or I can pull the trigger right now. It sounds like a lot, lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the cho choice is yours. So what's it going to be? Now, at this point, this is where you guys start getting the idea of you start making decisions in this game. Now, I'm going to hit listen up, but I will say if you want, go ahead, go back, hit the other decisions. 
pretty much exactly what you expect to happen is going to happen with the other two decisions. Uh, and you should just basically hit listen up because it's what basically moves you along into the actual game itself. If you want to put that gun, gun down, fine. Talk fast. And this basically takes you into the main game itself. Um, and you almost go into a, I guess you could say, character selection screen. Of course, the game doesn't tell you that. And that's one thing I had to say about the game is that there is no tutorials. There is nothing to tell you what to do. You literally can make your own decisions whatever way you like. And I really like that. What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? So again, this is kind of a, a party for a writer. And the game, the game kind of starts off basically this guy's looking for somebody to hire as a new writer. Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One, man, one such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Ah. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. So here we go. We're basically, we're now officially in control of the game, guys. Uh, one thing I just want to note is they actually, this game does feature controller support, which was really super sweet. That was actually kind of a pleasant surprise. I picked up my controller and right away it was just working and I was like, wow, that's freaking awesome. So this game does feature controller support. You can actually play it with your controller. We're going to go ahead and talk to our wife here. Come on, hurry up. Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes, you know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. I'm pretty sure that's the lady from the beginning of the game. <laughs> I wonder who she was having uh, someone killed. So like I said, this is kind of like a rudimentary character select screen. Even though it doesn't say that, you guys could walk around the party and talk to different people who are at the party and get an idea of who they are. For instance, if I were to walk up to say, this person, how's your evening going? Oh, Larry, happy birthday, man. Thank you. How, is your not all right? Yeah, great party. Just slipping on this bottle of, of brandy. Did you want some? I promised myself I'll only have one tonight. Brandy's a pretty solid choice, though. If I were to toast with this particular character, that would essentially be me picking my main character. If I choose not to, for instance, I can pick somebody else and see who else I like in the party. Uh, fortunately, you can't pick the cat. I would love to be the cat, but the game isn't about cats. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick somebody. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll pick um, uh this guy this weird looking dude. Hey, happy birthday that's a new job you get anything else anything from the wife do lectures count don't bother with that leave it up i've got this bottle of bourbon we could toast i'll let that drink once tonight perhaps bourbon could be it toast that's great let's go all right let's get drunk all right give me a second to run the run to the patio there's someone i want you to meet always happy to meet the ball and chain and at this point now we've chosen kind of our main character and we can now uh, we're going to go to the patio and kind of pick our mate, believe it or not. You kind of pick your girlfriend or boyfriend if you happen to want to be pick a boyfriend. Whatever your choice is, it's really up to you. Unfortunately, you can't pick the dog, though. Um, you can't pick a radio either. Oh, you can't change a song, though. Right on. By the way, I just have to say this right now. Fantastic, amazing soundtrack in this game. I love the soundtrack in this game. Whoever did the music in this game did a phenomenal job here. So anyways, yeah, you basically kind of the same thing. You walk up to somebody, you talk to them, and you basically say he's either waiting on us, he's waiting on me, and that kind of gives you your choice as to who you're going to pick. So I'm just going to pick somebody because I just want to move things along right now. And she looks kind of like a snobby business chick, but that's kind of the first chick that caught my eye. This is perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam are working on. Now, for the most part, the beginning narrative will be somewhat the same from game to game. But what changes in the games where you reach, I guess you could say almost the, the, when you reach the hub area, the town, as it were, and you start making the d decisions from that point forward, that's where the game kind of gets different, guys. So for the most part, you're going to just be kind of in the beginning, just picking the character that you want to look like, picking your mate, basically, as far as you look at the design that appeals to you as far as the look goes. So we'll name this guy uh, Martyr. 
Martyr. His name is Martyr. There we go. Okay, my turn. Her name is... She looks like a snob bitch. So we'll call her Snobby. Snobby the girlfriend. She looks snobby. I'm sorry. Look at that face. She's like, Ugh. You're not even wearing proper shoes. All the best. Martyr and Snobby. Let me... Let me see that for a second. Uh, it sounds perfect to me, buddy. All right, Snobby, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh, God. Good luck. So, yeah, we got Martyr and Snobby now at the party here, guys. And, guys, I know, just, I know this is just the beginning of the game. I want you to know there's a lot more complexity to this game, guys. Uh, the, the game basically has a lot of decisions and moral decisions and different many paths that you can go down in once you actually get to that point. So let's go ahead. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out, no need, Martyr. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff, you've got talent and a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to I want to put in a good word with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. Th that, that's crazy, seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting, let's toast. To ambition, to success, to getting rich. I'll toast to not screwing up. To not screwing up. There you go. It didn't really matter who set things in motion. The landslide had already started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? At this point, I think you could hit no and maybe kind of go backwards and redo your decisions. But for the most part, I think we're going to be sticking with what we have right here. One year later. Again, that was just kind of just for you picking your character. This is where you are officially kind of entered into the game and given access to the entire world. And guys, I will say this, it feels like such a fully fleshed out world. Everything that you see, you can talk to, look at, click on, and interact with. And there's just so much attention to detail in this game, which is one of the things that I really like about this game. Is that you can tell that there's just so many Easter eggs and, and just a lot of heart and passion poured into this game, guys. And you will get that when you start playing this game. I only played it for an hour or so, and I already felt, I just already got a good feel of the world. And the world does feel very real, which is one thing that I like about this game. It's not your stereotypical RPG, and it does feel very realistic. It feels gritty. I gotta sleep with this thing tells me to. I was, I was halfway to earning my one month, so whatever, sleep achievement, let me just cycle through the modes, reset this thing. The game basically features, I guess you could say, uh, different modes of time, time of day modes. Basically, you have your, your um, you have your midday of your morning and you have your night. And you basically can accomplish goals during those three sets of time during the day. So basically now we're kind of free to explore our apartment. Um, and kind of look around basically and you want to explore and check your environment because the more you check your environment You can find things like money or cash or food And there is a kind of a rudimentary food system in this game Cooking directions place the microwave two minutes left cool for 30 seconds sir beats eating them frozen So let's go ahead and microwave our food here and you can actually access a uh, menu system here which kind of gives you an idea of how things uh, look, so let's talk about what you're looking at here on the top right. You have your cash value obviously on the bottom You have a stamina bar now this actually represents how much your character has eaten or just basically how much your character has consumed You kind of need to keep your character well nourished uh, Of course you have your items which basically is your sleep monitor your beeper So I guess this game takes place sometimes during the 90s because who in the hell has a beeper anymore a journal page a number it's the food that you've collected up to this point and collectibles, which are things that you'll find hidden throughout the game, basically, and that you can use to either sell or collect, and it may affect the story in some way or another. So let's go ahead and mark your way of our pizza pouch here. Uh, three minutes. No, wait, two minutes. Damn it! I didn't nuke it for long enough. Damn it! Well, let's see what happens. All right, so we, nu we nuked it, even though we didn't nuke it for the appropriate amount of time here. Oh, okay, never mind, we did. Okay, that's good. Wait, what? What, you just, what do you mean? We, 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 oh, I guess there was another one in my bag here? All right, there we go. Careful when eating, burning cheese is hot. And as you can see, we eat, basically fill up our stamina bar. And as time progresses, it basically, as the game goes by, 
um, you will basically lose more and more stamina. And what, how that affects your character, I'm not 100% sure. There could be ways that is affected all in all. It could affect how you, certain actions take place, if your character is too tired to do something, etc., etc. Look, there's a few notes under my door. This is what I was talking about. He's basically being evicted and owes $500 to his landlord. 30 days overdue, pay up deadbeat. And yes, you will learn to hate that landlord. He is a giant dick. It's always something, isn't it? Can't see if you wanted to get coffee. Best work to get best best work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you, and my manager hates slackers. Dirk if Dirk off. Dirk I don't know what he's called. Well, at least I got a job for today. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. And we headed out. So at this point, like I said, everything's interactive, guys. You can pretty much click and read on everything. And if you actually do that, I could delete some, some hilarious ass moments. For instance, I'm going to stare through this peephole, this keyhole, not peephole. And as you can imagine what's going on there, yeah, they're having some sex. All right. <laughs> Again, the game is adult theme. This is not your stereotypical RPG, guys. Let's go ahead and stare through this keyhole. Let's see what this guy's doing. Oh, he's smoking from a bong or toking, whatever. Toking from a bong and getting high. I just, and to be honest with you, I was not expecting that. When I first played through this game, that kind of slammed me in the face. I feel bad for spoiling that for you, but I just want to give you the idea that this game is very adult in nature, guys. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tellwagger. Oh, pardon me, Martyr. Am I in your way? I got distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There is never enough time in the day. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your girlfriend? Things uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You were such a good kid. Tell, tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place a little later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. I'd be lovely to have some help. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by anytime today. Don't wait too long, though, or it'll get done by myself. Have a good day, Martyr. Hope you find what you need. Now, at this point, like I said, you have a branching path of decisions that you can make. For instance, we can go find our friend Durkoff and go work at the nightclub, or if we wanted to, we could help the old lady. Let's go ahead and spy on her, though. I mean, I wonder what she's up to. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. Let's, let's keep spying. I'm kind of curious. Huh. Let's see. Oh, I guess she's not up to anything. <laughs> Last time I looked at what she was doing, she was done doing something really naughty. Anyway, so let's go ahead and head downstairs. Cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Let's just leave it alone here. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With the light's off, I'm able to slip out of here undetected. Or not. Hold it, you mangy punk. You really think I wouldn't notice you because the lights were off? I had that clap on, clap off thing installed last week. Oh god. What? This guy is such an asshole, dude. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you going to pay me what you are, or am I going to toss your ass out of the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Give me time. I just need some time. I'm waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care how many churros you've got to swallow. You're out of time, I say. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, or you consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. At this point, you could say, screw him and walk away, or give the guy his key. So you want me to just give you my key? Sure, give him the key. Fine, I think I have it on me somewhere. You handed over your apartment key. Can we see when you got the money? I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. What a fucking asshole. 500 bucks by the end of the day, I can do this. I've already got the work at the Phoenix, or I can go help Mrs. Tallowagger. Time to get to work. I really don't want to get evicted. So basically, like I said, guys, you have to kind of branching path of decisions that you can make, different paths you can go down. And it all really depends on what you're willing to do to earn a little bit of cash. Hey, Martyr. How's it going, man? I'm good, Ballinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I've got to hustle. 
My lawyer wants 500 bucks by the end of the day, and I don't know when I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try to get, get try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you a station wagon. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If I ever get lost, come see me. I know this, these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. And guys, basically, we are now brought to the central hub of the game. And this isn't even the entire entirety of it all. Actually, it's bigger than this. Each one of these buildings you can enter and explore and may perhaps have an opportunity for you to take advantage of or for you to buy food or an event may occur. And there's even more to the city as you progress forward. This construction basically worker is kind of preventing us from moving forward into deeper parts of the city because the game basically has, you have a 30 total amount of days to kind of explore things. So let's go ahead, this is the nightclub. Let's talk to this lady right here. Hey cutie, you look like a guy with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. Looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that all depends on what you need. You know Dirty Don over by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs, happy pills, I think he calls them, that make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with God. Wow, sounds intense. If I give you 50 bucks, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Deal. All right, deal. So now we're officially getting drugs for this lady. <laughs> As you can see, it's like a the game is dirty and gritty, guys. It's not always clean. You're not always going to be the most cleanest decisions, but hey, she wanted it, right? It's her life to ruin. If she wants to do drugs, that's her choice. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, what's this? It's just a little message for me to him, you know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed to see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. You have to have fun waiting in line. Let's go ahead. I, you know, I'm going to say let's, I'm suspicious of this sealed letter. Let's, let's, can we open it? Oh, we can't open it. Gosh dang it. What does the beeper do? Pfft, okay. Doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and um, let's go run over to the drug dealer in front of the shop here. Hey, welcome to Dirty Don, Don's Popcorn Stand where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. No, I'm just curious. Know the popcorn trick? Have you ever heard of the popcorn trick? It's where you take a bag of popcorn and you cut a hole. Whoa, the popcorn trick? Let me stop you right there. Dirty Don invented the popcorn trick. In fact, it used to be called the Dirty Don Maneuver. What happened? Why the name change? Man, it's a long story. Let's just say there was a year-long battle between the Dirty Sanchez guys, so I was forced to rename it to the popcorn trick. Well, if you think about it, the name actually makes more sense now. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, kid. You made my day. <laughs> Anyways, you sell anything else? So, uh, you sell anything else? I got this envelope. There's something else from a girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it. You open the sealed envelope. It says... Well, go on. Read it. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with itty-bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you, yeah, I think you get the idea. Sir, mix a lot right there, baby. <laughs> I'd say I love that. Whoa, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell is that? Oh, all my orders comes with hip-hop lyrics. Helps keep the, co the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Now, what's a guy like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need 50 bucks worth of them, pronto. No problem at all. I was just thinking, though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Save the same number of pills and everything. If that math doesn't add up, what's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just not local. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Consumption, yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So it'll be loyal patron, spend 50 bucks and get what you asked for, or spend 20 and save the whales. Again, so what are you willing to do to get that, save your rent and move along your overall goal? And this is just one of many, uh, probably hundreds of moral decisions that you'll make. Let's be a dick and say, yeah, I want to save the whales. Well, if I don't save the whales, who's gonna? I'll take the stuff made from the environmentally friendly toxins. You gave 20 bucks for the Johns, Don gave you some fake pills. Right on, save the whale, save your money. That's what it's all about. Now, I'm pretty sure this probably is going to kill this poor chick here. Uh, but you know what? I got 30 bucks out of the deal. So just get stuff for you. I want to try it before the show. Yeah, I got stuff. I hope you like whales. Whales. I love whales. It's my spirit animal. Was there any change? Nope. No change, unfortunately. Just make sure you take these with some friend, some friends around. You know, just in case anything happens to you. 
You gave Haley the fake peel, the fake bills. Now she's. Ugh, I feel like a dog shit. What the hell did you give me? <laughs> now she's not going to be doing well. We can go ahead and get into the nightclub now and see what kind of jobs we have. This guy has that for me. Let's get to work. Whoa, partner, we ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, dipshit. Why don't you turn around and get at lost? Chill, jerk. Chill out, jerk. I'm working here today. Where's jerk off? It's, it's, to be honest, his name sounds like jerk off to me. Every time I read it, it sounds like jerk off. Better check your attitude, punk. I fuck up guys like you pretty much every goddamn night. You fuck guys? Sorry, did you just say you fuck guys like me and every night? I'm flattered, but I really don't sing that way. Oh, skillet. What'd you just say to me, motherfucker? Oh, he punched me. Oh, my God. Martyr? Martyr, it's Snobby. What? Snobby? Martyr! Whoa, man, I'm up. Kind of you to finally join us. The fuck is this guy's problem? I don't mind Benny. He's a real sweetheart as long as you don't run your mouth off like a total asshole. Come on, we're late, and there's a ton of shit to move. Doors are open in a few hours. So that guy knocked us flat on our ass. That did not happen to me. Uh, the first time I played through this game, guys. Uh, and that's one thing I will say. In this game, you do have a save feature if you want to save your character. As you can see, this is this was my first character right here. And I played him for quite a while. And I got some cash and I did some things that I'm not necessarily proud of. But I also did some things I am proud of. And you can go ahead and load, save, and delete your game. And this is where one thing I will say about the game that I don't necessarily like. Um... Well, I should say, you, you can easily ruin the experience of the game for yourself with this feature. Because if you didn't like one of the decisions that you made, you can easily kind of load up your last save and then try to remake that decision in a different way and see what consequence comes out. I feel like this is, while it is a good way to have, it is a good thing to have a save feature in the game, and I do appreciate it, but at the same time, I feel as if that maybe you could ruin the game for yourself, possibly. How's your head feeling, man? Ben clocked you pretty hard. I'll be fine. Who's the girl trying to wake me up? I heard her voice, but she was gone when I came to. It was just me, man. You hearing things? I guess. She sounded a lot like Snobby. She's run this shit again? Look, Snobby left you. What, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. All I'm going to blame her for everything. Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Shut the hell up. I don't know. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us are not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I love Viper, I'm realizing it's, it's the choices we make that define us. I'm worried about the choices I've made. Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. Whatever. Why don't you focus on your first sober show and let, let me get to work? Here's the fucking equipment layout. Try to screw it up, okay? I've got enough on my plate without having to deal with gear problems. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo it, so to make sure to get everything right the first time. It basically gives you a little bit of a map and shows you how they want it set up. Here's in the box here. All you got to do is put the right stuff in the right storage place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey can do this job, so you better not mess it up. Get it up perfectly, and I'll give you 100 bucks, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. So that way you kind of get an idea of where to place the objects, guys. And because it is a cute little RPG, it does basically have somewhat of mini games. For instance, this one will be to set up the stage properly. And there's other mini games like where you're uh, later on in the night you get to be a coat check and you can choose to either kind of pickpocket everyone's jacket if you want to give people the wrong jackets. It's just kind of freaking hilarious. So let's go ahead. I think the drums went here, right? Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah, it makes sense. And it just has these really cute, adorable mini games. And it basically kind of reminiscent of RPG style. And I really appreciate that kind of thing. And it adds a, quite a bit of flavor to the game. Because there's really no combat system in this game. There's no, you know, blah, 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 and you're fighting goblins and oozes and shit. The game basically interacts with you through the events that you play through in the game. And little things that'll happen. Hey, hey, Martyr. Come give me a hug. Viper, what are you doing here? I thought you and Dark if split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before the show? Trust me, if I know Dark if he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably told you so, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. He said, hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are split still for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Martyr. I always know when my baby's super nervous, which is why I brought him the present. It's a but it's a baggie of heroin. Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dark has been doing so well. What the hell's wrong with you? 
Yeah, I'm not forcing needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show, this helps calm him down. Then who are we to get in his way? Uh, I guess he'll just pick, he'll just get it from someone else. I guess you're right. I guess you've got a point. If he's going to use, he's going to use. This way we know where the stuff's coming from. Exactly. If it makes you any more comfortable, I'll let you do the honors of presenting it to him. I just want to make sure my baby's got what he needs. Viper gave you some heroin. I, uh, thanks? Well, good luck learning the rest of the gear. You better get it right. I'll be real mad if you screw up my baby's show. See ya. Again, presenting you with a moral decision of what to do with the uh, heroin. Uh, but for instance, I think we could go right here to the bathroom and flush it down the toilet if we wanted to, guys. And guys, there's just a lot of different kinds of moral decisions in this game. I'm going to say, let's keep the heroin. Who knows? It might be useful. <laughs> it's a morally gray game. You can basically make whatever decision you want, guys. And this is just, like I said, one of hundreds of decisions that you can make. There's Easter eggs everywhere. It's a gritty realism to the game. It's, it has amazing replayability here, guys. But this video has been going on long enough, so I'm going to end it, uh, wrap it up here, guys. Always, sometimes monsters ask what decision you would make and why. It's dark, but not to the point of killing the movie. It delicately balances its story with the silliness that it is still a video game. You could tell, like I said, how dedicated the writers are and how much passion they poured into this amazing title. The only thing about this game that I could say is that it may not be everyone's cup of tea. If you're not into narrative or story or character development especially, this game might not be for you. I can easily say up to this point of the titles that I have played that this game is easily my RPG of the year so far. I highly recommend this title, guys, so pick it up. Pre-order it now and enjoy. So big thanks to the developer for a chance to play this game, and thanks to the publisher. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. Till next time, play some indie games, and this has been the Indie Game of the Week, Always, Sometimes, Monsters.